Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back on the Glasgow Edinburgh route in TSW3. I thought I'd run one of these small depot services. There's quite a few of these available. It's not a long service, just under two miles, but I thought, you know, let's run one of these because I've not run one since the live for uh, the Glasgow Edinburgh. So let's just log in first to the TMS. You can put any number into this, doesn't really matter. It's a bit tricky on the controller. Just got to put four numbers in, enter four numbers again, then log in. And then we'll get underway. So let's look at the announcements. These announcements are excellent, especially given the lady with the, uh, the Scottish accent as well. For authenticity. Let's just, let's do one about the public address test, why not? Let's try this one. public address on this train is currently under test. Yeah, I quite like that. Right, let's get the safety systems on and we can be underway. See, there's quite a few of these services. Uh, the long services are actually really good. Go back and have a look at the live session that I did on the channel. We did a full run of the line in that live. Uh, but these smaller ones, I love the fact that these are included as well, because you can hop into these and they don't take long. This probably will take me around 10 minutes to do. We're going from the Eastfield Depot, which is just outside Glasgow. We're going into Glasgow Queen Street, platform three. And we've got five miles per hour as we leave the depot. So one other thing we can do, because we're getting this service ready for its outward bound journey, we can put on the saloon lighting so the passengers will be able to see. It is it is 7.18 in the morning, it's quite bright as you can see, some traffic there coming in and out of Glasgow, which is nice to see. This is the Class 385, of course, which I think has been, has been well done. I did say in the live session that I think that Rivet have really done themselves justice on this one. This is rapidly becoming a favourite route of mine. The 385 looks really, really nice. So we might get held just here. Usually coming out of the depot, there is a signal. Yep, so 35 yards, we've got to stop. There's the signal there, just to the left at ground level. Let's make sure we stop correctly. So we'll just wait for some traffic to uh, come in or out so that we can get clearance because we've got to cross across the line to get out of the depot. So while I'm doing that, just remember this week we've got quite a lot releasing actually, especially for fans of the US stuff in TSW3. So tomorrow, as I'm recording this now on the 20th, tomorrow on the 21st, we've got the long-awaited release of the Acela. I know that's going to be popular with lots and lots of people. Um, along with that we've also got the New York to Trenton route and we've also got the US freight bundle. So that's all good stuff to look forward to and don't forget as a Dovetail ambassador I will be showing all that content off on the channel. Big thanks to Dovetail for supplying me with the keys to be able to show that content to you so I'm really looking forward to that. I do like the US freight stuff, I have to say, and uh, I, I think that also the um, uh, the US freight routes are starting to get updates with the new skies, etc. I uh, don't know if that's happening this week, but uh, certainly that's that's the plan, isn't it, that they've said. So here's some traffic coming out. And there we go, we've got the signal now. So let's just gradually make our way across. I just, I love the general look of this route. I mean, look how clear that is with the trees. This is on the PS5, remember? So we've got plenty of horsepower to be able to show this. But I love the look of the route. It's definitely getting better every single time a route is released. It's better and better. And River have really done well on this one. 
There's a few little niggles here and there, but there's nothing that is really affecting me in my playtime. I've got quite a few hours in this now. I've not been playing it on the channel, but I have been playing it off stream, and uh, I've got quite a few hours in. And, uh, there's nothing. There's nothing that's a showstopper, certainly. So we're creeping along. Still got the five miles per hour limit, which will soon rise to 15 once the back of the train clears the. Uh, the speed board. Just keep feathering the throttle. Just keep that five miles per hour up. Let me know down in the comments if you've picked this route up. What what are your feelings about it? You can tell I'm quite impressed. I knew this would be a good one, and this probably is quite popular, I expect, as well. But uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Hopefully you haven't experienced many issues. I know there are some issues, but they're not affecting everybody, so just let me know what you think. What do you think of the new upcoming US stuff this week? I know there's lots and lots of you that have been waiting for more US content. especially passenger content. The Acela, as I mentioned earlier, has been anticipated for quite some time, and now that it's been released, I think that is going to be really popular. I'm quite looking forward to giving that a blast, I must admit. Right, so we can pick up speed. We're just 1.6 miles out of Glasgow, and we're cleared up to 50 miles per hour. It does accelerate very nicely, this 305. The braking is a little tricky. There's a couple of times on a full run where I've shot through the station, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty good, it makes sense. Because that's the good thing about trains in world, isn't it? All the trains are different. They all act a little bit different. It's not a case of learn one train and the same, same controls fits all. The, the handling and the physics of the different trains are all different depending which local you're driving. That's what I quite like about TSW. Just keep a mile to go. So we'll soon be in the tunnel, which takes us into Glasgow on this side. And we've got a 30 coming up, so we need to reduce speed slightly. Like I said, not a long service. These ones are good fun if you just want to dip in and just play something for a short time. Just over half a mile and we reduce it to a 20, but we're good. The other thing to note as you come into Glasgow, look at the, uh, the downhill gradient there. 2.2%. So, you do need to keep your eye on the braking coming into Glasgow because it will start to run away with you as it is doing there. You can see I was just over the 20. But usually, with the brakes on minimum in the 385, it will hold it without slowing down too much. Tricky on the controller to bring the brakes on, you've got to hold, if you're using the controller, you're used to using it on a controller, you've got to um, hold uh, right one for it to go into the braking zone. It's like there's an invisible step because it's a combined throttle and brake handle. So you're using R1 and R2 on the controller, that's if you're on a PlayStation, um, and you need to hold it. So sometimes, you don't hold it long enough you don't go into the braking zone you can sort of let it run away with you a little bit i've done that a couple of times but again the more you use the 385 you'll get used to that so just over 300 yards to go again glasgow station's really well modeled Really nice. Let's go Queen Street 
I should say, because we do also have Glasgow Central, don't forget, on the Cathcourt Circle Line. But this canopy, look at this canopy there. I love that with the glass. And you see the station building through the glass on the other side. They've done really well on that. So this is Glasgow Queen Street. Be careful I don't shoot through the buffers because that will make a mess. That will do me. And that's it. That's the end of the service. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to come back for the rest of the content this week. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a like. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Bye for now.